So let's explore the weekend energies with tarot and oracle. So what we need to know at the moment, the first aspect is with the Knight of um, Wands here, one needs to really look at taking action. Whatever that is, action in tidying our home, cleaning our home, maybe having um, a good time with party, celebration, maybe having that perfect dinner party at the weekend. For a lot of us, um, spirituality is going to pay an enormous amount of our time, really connecting to our higher selves and really bringing that into our lives. So sometimes we have to search for the right video to watch, a right book to read, go to the right kind of um, home, like churches, synagogues, um, all sorts of things to actually find what's right for them. But one thing is clear, taking action towards our goals is essential. Even if it's um, getting in contact with somebody that we haven't been in contact for a long time, especially in the periods of the weddings, of birthdays, all sorts of things may happen this weekend. Also, you will find here with the Knight of Pentacles as well, it's long term goals. Looking at our career, looking at our finances, looking at our stability. So this is very important. So when we take action towards those goals, we're planning ahead. Now's the time to be motivated. The Knight of Wands is all about motivation as well. We need to get motivated. We've had enough years sitting on our bums, not doing anything. Now is the time to be proactive. Also, over the weekend, we can definitely plan to make happier memories, have fun, really see that our inner child needs healing in these retrospects. So it's almost like having the fun, really connecting. So when I said some, some of you may be connecting to people from the past, it is time to actually reflect on the past. The memories of our family, how we were grown up, and how we are maintaining our own start for families ahead. So it's a good time for families, having fun, maybe swimming, maybe walking, maybe starting a new hobby. It's all about planning for the future. So sometimes people have to wait to get in um, clubs and hobbies. So this is planning ahead, especially for the children. Also, you'll find here with the Five of Cups that sometimes with, it's with disappointment that we don't get everything done. And this is why you see that planning one step at a time for the future is going to be good. So sometimes we need to plan for our heart in the caring nature, the love aspect. So disappointments that's had, especially with people who, who aren't going to come back in our life. Sometimes it's about we're waiting for the ex to recall and they just don't. Or maybe you're waiting to hear from someone and, you know, nothing's happened for many times, many months, many weeks, many days. Now's the time to reflect on what is your happiness. And that's why we must take action towards our goals. And the last tarot card of the day of, for the weekend energies is the Page of Swords. So this is a great time to really inspire yourself, really be learn to be in charge. All these learning experiences that we have in life, it's like teaching our inner child. Our child, our child within us has to know certain things. So when we have more experience and we've learned these, we can adapt it within our world. So this is an important aspect of developing facing the challenges and growing so that's really good so let's have a look at the oracle cards as well so you will find love life on the cards this weekend so this is really really good because when we have fun in social events when we have fun with new hobbies and really planning for the future our love life seems to grow and develop so have patience for that. Really plan ahead, as in the nights, taking action, making a long-term goal. 
especially when it comes to love life within children, adapting uh, them within your life and your own inner child. So have a lovely weekend ahead and we'll see you next week.